Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what are navigation properties. Now say I have a text box and a button and I want to search the employees based on the department name. That is, I am going to insert department name here and I say search. Now what is that it should do? It should get me all the employees belonging to this department. So what is our normal logic that we apply? We take the department name and we try to find out the department ID. Let's see here. I have department table. Employee table. Now I get department name. Now from department name, I'll try to find out the department ID. Now with that department ID, I'll write a query on employee table and get the information about that particular department. So uh, let's follow the old procedure that we used to do. We first try to find out the department ID. Then with the department ID, we try to find out the employee. I'll double click on search button. Here I have. Uh, all the namespaces it is required and entity object now i'll say the department id is integer type i'll check in did is equals to i'll just go for tbl department dot to list and from this i'm going to write a where clause i want to look for a record where x tries to x dot department name is equal to whatever I have in my text book that is txt d name dot first or default I get that record now from that record I want department id so I will say dot did which is of type int it is very simple I got the department id now I will say where Here I need to say txt department name dot text. Now I'll say where employees is equals to same entity object dot tbl employees dot to list dot where this time I say x gives rise to x x dot department id is equals to the id that I have searched just now now I get all the employees belonging to that particular department now I can give this as data source to my grid view grid employees dot data source is equals to employees and grid employees dot data bind so with the help of department name we found its department id and with this department id we wrote a query with where clause on employee table and we are getting all the employees of that particular department so this is our normal procedure i'll save this and i'll execute it I have a department called as QA and I write department name as a search. I get all the employees of that particular department. So this is very simple and this is our normal logic. Now let us achieve the same thing with the help of navigation properties. And let us see how simple it is. Now I'll just remove this line of code or I'll just try to comment out these two lines of code and I'll use navigation properties for that it is very simple I'll say where employees equals now first of all I'll try to find out that record that is the department so this is what I did to find out that record till this is same 
dot did so this is what we found earlier we found department id then with the help of department id we wrote a where clause and employee table here instead of going for did here i'll go for a navigation property that i have in my department table let's go to organization model in this department entity i have a navigation property that is tbl employee i'll use this property i'll say dot tbl employee that's it it is going to find out that department and it will extract all the employees of the department and it will store it in em save this and execute this. I'll write QA and I get the same result. So instead of me writing two queries, I wrote a single query to get all the employees belonging to that particular department. So this is the feature and the advantage of your navigation properties. In the same way, you can navigate from employee table to the department table. So this is all about your navigation properties. Thank you very much.